don't see you just like Stevie You don't see them I watch you in a 4K and a 3D You know it good, you know Girl, I watch you like cinema Girl, I watch you like cinema Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. Just a checking off, give you guys some updates. Hope everybody been blessed. You're blessed as always. Woke up this morning watching Just Black TV. Let the Almighty be praised. First time over Just Black TV, press the subscribe button, notification bell, also you never miss another update. Right, I would just go kick start with a missing child. Yes, so missing since November 20, 2022. 12 year old Ebony Williams of Lagi Road, Olympic Gardens, Kingston Lemon has been missing since Tuesday, November 20. She's of dark complexion, medium built and about 5 feet 5 inches tall. Ebony was last seen at home wearing a pink blouse, blue jeans, a pair of purple slippers. She has not been heard from since. If you have any information that can help us to find Ebony, contact the Olympic Gardens Police. Yes, or the CPFSA or the nearest police station, right? Yes, so Ebony Williams, yes, of Olympic Gardens, you know, gone missing. Well, just over for this young female return you know boy we have to just pray pray and pray and pray hope for the best so we just a move on now to our next next update again we are missing you know so gabriella stewart age 13 she is of dark complexion slim built and about 162 centimeters five feet four inches tall she was last seen wearing a pink blouse and a pair of jeans pants so anybody can give any information you can call the central village police station you know our cp sfa yes are the nearest police station right my people yes and gabriella stewart just means from central village era yes gone missing also well peeps we have to just pray for our kids because in these times you know we see where the place getting more dark and darker darker like midnight so we just move on now peeps to where st catherine man charged for attack on media workers so the spanish town police have charged the homestead resident who attacked media workers in st catherine on wednesday damaging a videographer's equipment so michael marilyn a laborer has been charged with assault okay janine bodily armed and malicious destruction of property the attack on the television jamaica videographer and a gleaner reporter took place as the journalist covered a protest by t Teachers at Olmsted Primary School. Right, my people, so look at your screen. This is the man, Marilyn. Right, and trust me, <laughs> man, go out with a bag of things yesterday. But anyway, peeps, yes, we are moving on to where Freddie McGregor, yes, popular Jamaican reggae artist, suffer a stroke. Right, yes, so reports are that popular Jamaican reggae artist, producer, songwriter Freddie McGregor suffered a stroke in the USA and remains under close media supervision. Well, peeps, well, another update you know, put out, you know, say minutes after saying that this man is at home, you know, him suffered a stroke, but he's not in the hospital, he's at his home right now, you know. So, hope for the best for one of Jamaica's icon, you know, in reggae music trust me young you growing up listening to this legend you know it was also a joy growing up listening to his music so anyway peeps yes let's have a move on you know to where approximately seven thousand students remain absent from classroom despite the efforts of the ministry of education that's according to acting director of safety and security at the ministry richard chop Mr. Chope says the number which remains unaccounted for is made up mostly of senior students who've opt not to return to school for economic reason. Right, my people? Yes, approximately 7,000 students still remain absent, you know, from classrooms. Well, yeah, you hear me? Trust me, Jamaica just going backward, backward, backward by every level. Workers, you know. Trust me, the schoolers, you know, the business people, it just a go on and on and on, you know. Jamaica just need right now some love, because the love taken away. Yes, trust me, my people. But anyway, peeps, we just a go move on, you know, to our next update, you know. We are man police label dangerous contract killer skips bail. A man from Western Jamaica who the police allege is one of the island's most deadly contract killers has skipped bail and is now on the run. So sparking fears in police circles that he could be about to unleash another reign of terror in that section of the island. 
right my people so this man is in the western part of the island right now you know and this man skips bail and this man is one of the deadliest contract killers in Jamaica Island as we speak so right now you hear me peep boy you hear me thanks to alert the public but you need to go find this man trust me because you know said people out there you know and at them word boss so bizarre twists a corporate era spiritual era and that scrutiny surrounding 50 million fraud probe right so police probing the suspect multi-million dollar fraud at such core bank ligani have stumbled onto a secret society which has evoked memories of the st james cult led by the now deceased pastor kevin smith according to the observer sources a person believed to be involved in a fraud has claimed that the act was perpetrated to fund activities of the secret society which conducts ritual involving blood and animal sacrifice right my people and this agwan you know in a surgical bank aligani big fraud multi-million dollar fraud well peeps jamaica getting better and better each day and worse and worse on the other side yeah, I just saw it ago because you don't know people still are make better than life while some are make worse. But peeps, boy, just let us pray, yeah. That's that. Uh, just let the Almighty be praised. So move on to where bus driver attacks baby mother after finding man in child's bed. A bus driver who allegedly injured his child's mother in a fight after going to her house and seeing a grown man lying in his seven-year-old daughter's bed is to go to dispute resolution. The 36-year-old bus driver from Maypen Clarendon who was in custody was offered bail when he appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday. Yes, you have to give this man bail, trust me. Trust me, Allah Mumma the wicked. People just share your comment in the section below what you think, you know, about this situation. Where you know as a mommy, you know, go link your, you know, child father and go see her, you know, in a, a big man in her in in bed. This is serious. So people just go move on to you, you know. Gunman rob a lady, right, right in front of the National Commercial Bank, a sum of one million dollar, and shoot the lady, right. So the lady standing there, you know, she's now traumatized, and this happened in Santa Cruz yesterday morning. So my people going out, yes, going out. Me tell you now already, you know. I'm not gonna tell you now again. Please be careful on the streets. Be careful of these criminals coming out to carry out their dirty activities your sight so people remember me telling you you know just know say right now if you not travel with a lump sum of money please just dress like mad people yeah not just clean like say you're uptownish or you're rich but anyway peeps you don't know that was it she only comment in the section below stay safe everyone we not do no more talking you know peace we out without a doubt east west north and the south And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I'm them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?